Axon Enterprise finishing at the top of the S&P 500 this week after reporting robust earnings on Wednesday. The company raising its revenue forecast on strong demand for its products, including Taser and software. Uh, it also has Draft One, which uses AI to draft police reports from body camera, audio, and video. And another potential growth area for Axon is drones as first responders. Axon announced it was acquiring D-Drone back in May. We covered that here on Overtime. And more recently, Axon announcing a partnership with Skydio to launch an end-to-end -end offering for drones in public safety. So joining us now, Axon founder and CEO Rick Smith, along with Skydio CEO and co-founder Adam Bry. It's great to have you both here. Um, before I get into this partnership, Rick, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about earnings and the strong performance we saw in the stock this week, because, yes, you've got, tax, uh, you've got Taser 10, but also software leading to that demand. And you haven't even fully rolled out this AI application yet either. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a really great time to be at Axon. You know, we've built this huge network of Tasers and body cameras and in-car cameras. Uh, and really what makes it valuable now is the dawn of AI becoming really practical and its capabilities growing so fast. You know, Draft One is just the first of many AI capabilities that we think will be transformative for our customers. I mean, it, it, look, writing police reports is something officers hate to do, but it consumes about half of their day. So they sign up to be a cop, but they end up as a you know, data entry clerk. And, and we're cutting that time about in half. And yeah. we're just getting started, but we've already got a bookings pipeline around $100 million right out of the gate. And we're just seeing a ton of strength across the business. Yeah, I mean, Axon, I think about body cameras, I think about tasers, but software is a growing piece of the business. AI, it sounds like with this pipeline, it's going to continue to propel that. So how does this continue to transition the company? Well, you know, AI, we look for all the places where, okay, where is where is the next big value creation? Uh, and drones as first responder is one of the fastest growing areas of policing. Ten times more agencies are doing DFR Join us first responder this year than they were a year ago. Uh, and so we announced this really uh, tight partnership now with Skydio, which is the world leader in autonomous drones, using AI to fly drones. It's another great place where AI can, frankly, do a better job of flying a drone and detecting obstacles and, and, and do just you know, reducing the need to have human beings standing on rooftops flying drones. And so that's really the, the thing we're leaning into next. Mm. And Adam, uh, we know drones are in demand. We're seeing them increasingly used on battlefields. Uh, we talk about defense tech and all the investor dollars that are rushing into the sector more broadly. Look no further than Andrel raising a one and a half billion bucks yesterday and, and announcing that news. So what is Skydio seeing in terms of demand and growth? And what does this partnership bring to the table? So drones have kind of been on this journey the last few years where people started using them for all kinds of important tasks and public safety and critical infrastructure inspection. And it's now matured to the point where I think they're transitioning from being useful to being essential. And we think of drones as really the ultimate sensor platform to make it possible to put sensors in dangerous situations ahead of people, get better information, make better decisions. And we're seeing tremendous impact in public safety where you might have a suspect who's potentially armed, you can send the drone in there. Officers can know exactly what they're walking into. It's safer for them. It's safer for the suspect. It's safer for the community. And with DFR and this partnership with Axon, I think we're, we're really poised to take this next step to, to true scale and scaling up the impact when we do that. 